Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to tell you about how to fabricate the basic inverter. Uh, some of the people who are keep following my videos will be um, stunned or surprised that I'm using English because this is basically Korean channel and I have been always giving a lecture in Korean. But for this specific um, process video, I'm going to film two versions of this, which is first one in English and second in Korean, so that everyone who are interested in my video can easily, you know, access or watch uh, this whole process. Uh, this will be like this is not this will not be the only English video. So if you guys uh, want to uh, watch my uh, videos in English, then uh, leave a comment. I will uh, record the English version for only you guys. If you are really uh, wanting, if you really want to watch those, yeah, it's a lot of effort. But anyway, uh, if you leave a comment, I'll think about it. Okay. Anyway, let's go. First of all, we have to know what is the inverter. Uh, most of the people who are from uh, electronic engineering will definitely know what this is, but let's just give a quick review for this. So, uh, we are going to fabricate 500 nanometer size inverter, which is pretty big uh, for this uh, recent fabrication process. This is a very old technique, of course, as you can see, 500 nanometers is really huge. But uh, let's see. Uh, so inverter is symbolized like this. So it's a very simple circuit that if you input the, the one, signal one, then it goes zero. And if you input zero, it goes one. Very simple. And also the circuit itself is very simple too. So you have a VDD, I mean, yeah, VDD, which is like a voltage that always gives one. And there is a PMOS here, which has a little dot here, and NMOS directly connect to this, and these lines are connected as a voltage in and voltage out here, and there is a voltage ground. Very simple circuit. So uh, if you input one in here, then it goes like this, and since this is a PMOS, there's a voltage here, then this will be closed. Uh, and this will be opened since it's NMOS. So this voltage out will be same as the voltage ground, which comes out as a zero. And if you input voltage zero, then uh, since this is a PMOS and this will be opened when you input zero, you have to design like that, where uh, as controlling the doping concentration concentration in the in the the device. And since there's a zero, this will be closed and this is open. So the VDD signal comes in, which we get one. So very simple uh, circuit, very simple device. So this contains one PMOS, positive MOSFET, and one NMOS, which is basically one complementary metal oxide silicon field effect transistor, okay? So what we're going to do is make one CMOS, okay? Uh, this is like a intro of what the inverter is. And the full design of the inverter is this. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, right? So there's a 0 0.5 CMOS and we need 12 mask for, this is the metal two layer. And there will be a passivation here, like, like this, okay? So including the metal two layer and the passivation at the top, we need 12 masks and photo steps of 14. So as you can see here, uh, there is less number of masks than the step of the number of the steps uh, of photo lithography. So that means we are reusing some of the masks we, are, we had used before. Uh, the reason why we do this is obvious. It's cheaper. Uh, the most, like almost the most Im 
express uh, expensive materials or stuffs that you use is basically the mask. Mask cost about, as I heard, like a uh, uh, like a fifty. No, wait, how much is about five hundred thousand dollars to uh, like a million dollar or something? In these modern technology, maybe even even more expensive. So. The best way is to use uh, the best, the cheapest way is to use as less as less number of masks as possible. Okay, so we are going to reuse some of the masks, and uh, the gate type will be dual polysilicon. So this is very old tech, uh, and this will be the locus, which is also very old technology. This is just an example how complicated the fabrication is and we will have these kind of this is just a labeling of the mask and we have the 107 steps as I can recall I guess it was 107 okay so oh, some of the other information about this uh, uh, and this is kind of you know asymmetric so this part is slightly lower than this part uh, I will tell you some of the reasons why uh, during the process okay and these these all the shapes are kind of not so perfectly drawn uh, it's of course uh, because my drawing is not so perfect but also there are some reasons why this device itself is not like super perfect those are all due uh, those are all caused by like reducing the cost okay anyway so let's go the 107 steps but uh, the, the video will be very long if I uh, explain all of the steps so this video will only contains about I don't know 20 or 30 or even 40 steps if I want to explain okay let's go for the first step so what will be the first step? You buy wafer. Very simple. <laughs> you, you, uh, you will not gonna make all the wafer you by yourself. You probably will be buying your own wafer from the uh, company that provide wafer, I guess. So you buy the wafer, and second, you have to do the wafer inspection. Uh, about the inspections, I think I made a video about that in the cleaning, so you can see that. And after that, you need you have to do the initial cleaning. Uh, do you use the H2SO4 plus H2O2, which is 4 to 1, about 10 minutes, 120 degrees Celsius. Uh, this will, this is for, I guess, the polymer uh, materials, and this is the, and next one, the, the HF solution, uh, which is for the natural oxide F, uh, that is formed when you uh, take off the wafer or something. And after that, you have to rinse the wafer with the uh, DI water. What DI water? Uh, this is just step three and step four. You will have to get the N well buffer oxidation. So, first of all, you just make a uh, oxidation like a like a silicon oxide about for four hundred fifty angstrom plus my thirty. Uh, this will be made in dry condition. It'll be hundred degrees Celsius. Uh, and after that, you uh, deposit a the deposit the nitride on the top which is like the in these conditions and after that step six you have to do the photo um, process of course I just made a step a single step as a photo lithograph lithography step oh god my English is so bad uh, lithography step lithography right okay uh, which also of, obviously contains the HMDS coat soft bake for the for losing the the the, the solvent uh, aligning of course an exposition and develop and CD check of course and a hard bake these whole things are uh, written in one single step as a photo okay so you use the number one mask which was the well mask here. Uh, this is mask one, okay, not the metal one. This is uh, this might be a bit confu confusing, but you know, it's your 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 choice. I mean, your how to say. You have to take care about that, okay. 
Okay, and number seven, you etch the nitride layer. Oh, uh, I I colored black in black uh, about the thing that we just made, and I uh, made a dot image as the things that we erased at that step. Okay, so in this place, uh, this black layer is what we made, and here the blank. Uh, the dot image it's the layer we erased at this step okay that's basically the will be the whole e explanations and there will be a nitride edge here uh, you have to always over etch okay when you etch some things you always always have to over etch if you don't remember uh, watch my videos about the etch process okay next you input the, you implant the end well We'll be using the phosphorus at the and uh, in 100 uh, 120 kilovolts with this concentration. And next, you do the strip. So you first you do the PR strip with O2 plasma, and after that, you do the acid PR strip for cleaning, obviously. And uh, not, not 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 like like the cleaning is like removing the leftover polymer and you have to do the cleaning too then this will be the the product that we have right now so this is step 11 let's go to step 12 uh, so you do the initial oxidation here so it was it was like these parts but these parts got bigger in here right and you get you do you do the nitride this nitride strip at this part it was gone now, and we you do the P well implantation with boron. So when we do the N well here, we need the mask, right? We needed the mask, but in here, when we uh, make the P well, we don't need a mask because we can just make the oxidation. Uh, we can just make the oxide here and add and the oxide itself will be the mask so it's like um, it's a smart method to reduce the number of masks you have to use uh, that is why uh, oh okay let's let's just continue for now uh, and there the, and you do cleaning here and uh, you do the well driving so that means there will be a certain amount of the uh, the ions in here inside of this part and with the thermal process you you diffuse those uh, particles to inside of the silicon wafer so you make the N and P well in here and you strip the initial oxides then you can see here like all all these parts here like here or here or here all these parts N well is slightly lower than the P well that is the reason why at the first drawing this was slightly lower than this part uh, that's the reason this is uh, due to reducing the number of a mask so well you have to bear with it if you want if you don't want to pay like millions of dollars more okay and after that you do you do the cleaning here and you grow the active uh, buffer oxidation I think that's buffer I think I misspelled it yeah I don't know why I wrote butter but it's a buffer buffer oxidation here okay so well, well the, these numbers are not like really important in this lecture or in this video I mean and next you put the active nitride deposition on the top of it uh, and you do the active photo so uh, you have to make an activation like active parts you know uh, the term active means that that part is working so you you will use those parts that's what the active means uh, and for that you do the photo process at with which you can see on the top here these are the the, the polymers that you uh, you deposit uh, you deposit on for the uh, with with the photo lithography, uh, and you 
etch those active nitrite uh, parts. You know, these these, these parts. These the these God like these parts. Okay. Uh and you after you etch the nitrite, you clean up the PR with the PR strip with O2 plasma and acid PR strip strip. And of course cleaning after you do the PR uh the photo litho, you have to always clean your wafer. There will be a bunch of like lazy things on the on your wafer. Uh, and now you will uh, you now have the uh, the nitrites just on this part and this part, and you grow your field oxide your field oxide, then the oxide will be like this like bulky, right? As you can see here, those were grown in the like, huge size in this part and the middle and the right side. Uh, and you strip the active nitride, then you will see you will uh, see this kind of shape here. And after that, you strip the buffer oxide, which is in the, which is like in these two parts. Then you will having something like this. After you do this, these parts are the very important parts. These parts will be the exact. Uh, part of the device where you have to use electrically so these must these place must be very very clean so to do that after cleaning this you grow a sacrificial you do the sacrificial oxidation process so on these parts you slightly uh, uh, make a oxide layer and after that you just strip those oxide right away uh, these are done by dry process, which this part was done by wet. So these the, the wet process is slightly uh, has less quality uh, compared to the dry process. And if you do this this sacrificial oxidation process, then you can remove the surface defect on these uh, parts, which is very good for us. And of course, after that, you have to clean it. And then you oxidize, oxidize the screen oxidation on these parts. So you will now have slight layer of oxide on the top of the silicon active region. Okay. Oh, this is so long and so quick. Okay, now step 34. You will do the PVT photo. And uh, that means you will going to input the PMOS parts. So you have to input, uh, I mean, you first have to make a, the polymer layer on the top. And you do the punch through stop implantation first in 150 kilovolts. So this will be slightly deeper than the threshold voltage adjustment implantation which is done by 120 kilo, kilovolt. So there will be slight gradation of concentration in these parts. Okay. Uh, after that, you, P, you the strip the PR photoresist with the O2 plasma and acid PR strip. Uh, then you will have something like this. And here there will be a small layer. I mean, uh, some parts of the place where, which is like a, lot of p uh, uh positive particles here okay uh and next you do the nvt photo here which is done by the boron is it plus yeah uh and that basically is the same process uh but in here we when you do the punch through stop implantation you use the boron, just only a boron, with 45 kilo, uh, kilovolt. Like, of course, this is kilo electrovolt, but uh, this is just in terms of energy, so I just write kilovolt. Uh, with a charge, single charge, then it's basically the same. Anyway, uh, and you do the, when you do the, the NMOS threshold voltage adjustment implantation, you use uh, not just 
boron you, you used BF2 plus, of course. Uh, and you strip the plus the, the PR, then you will now have something like this. There is a, a N well and P well here, and you will have the activation activated regions on these parts. Uh, so basically, you are like ready to start the front end the front end process. So from now on, you start to make the MOSFETs on this part and this part. Okay. This is step 44, and I think the video will be too, too long if I just draw all the process, I mean, explain all the process in the one video. So this will be the end of my first process video. I hope you watch the next uh, one or two more videos for this process. Uh, and uh, make some comments or press like if you, if you like the video. Uh, and hope you hope this video was helpful for you. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.